Hey guys, it's Arissa. Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I mentioned that I have been decluttering other aspects of my life and part of that is my clothing. So that's what we're going to focus on today. And I wanted to share with you guys the clothing that has really helped me create a nice basic wardrobe. And I no longer feel like I don't have anything to wear in the morning. It's a lot easier to get dressed. And I wanted to share with you guys what I did to make that happen. And to start off, we're going to focus on five basic tops that I've really revamped my wardrobe with. The first top I'll mention is a casual plaid top like this. So these to me are really versatile and I can wear them year round. It doesn't really feel like it's flannel, therefore I can only wear it in the fall or the winter because it's actually a pretty thin material. So for me, these are my favorite ones and they're from Rails. I will link them below. They're pretty expensive, but I tend to get them at 30 or 40% off of the Nordstrom website. Website. So I have quite a few of these. This is another one by Rails, but it doesn't have to be Rails. I'm just showing you guys what my favorite ones are. They have plaid casual tops at Target, Old Navy, many different places, H&M. Um, these are just the ones that I like. They wash really well and they're so soft and comfortable. Even though they are a collared button down top, I feel like I can wear these all the time on the weekends just casually, leisurely, and it's really comfortable. So it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing a button down shirt. And of course, everybody's workplace is different. So if this doesn't work out for your workplace, that's okay. Um, this is just for me, what I like to wear to the workplace. And this is something that I could get away with wearing, especially like on a casual Friday. So next is the classic button down shirt. With this one, it's actually not too classic because it doesn't button up all the way. It does have a little bit more of a v-neck here and this one I get from Express. I have one here also in an off-white shade so I like to go with really classic colors like this and that's another thing when I revamped my wardrobe. I wanted to stick with really classic colors that will never really look like I'm wearing the same colors over and over again. You really can't go wrong with a black and either a white or an off-white. So to me, this is really classic. I will have this for years to come. And the great thing is you could also roll these sleeves up and make it a little bit more casual. And I did forget to mention that with the rail shirt, I tend to wear the sleeves rolled up. So I'll show you guys. So I like to fold it here and then fold it again right here. So this is another way where you can go from day to night. If you wear this to work and then you're gonna go out afterwards, you can definitely roll the sleeves up after work. This is a shirt that is always in stock on Express's website and this is the Portofino shirt. They have the classic one or the original and then they also have a slim fit. I don't really remember exactly which one this is but I'll link everything below that I talk about. So having classic colors like this and also styles like this really makes it easy for me to get ready in the morning. It's no fuss. I already know it's gonna look good but it's also very easy and that's really what the theme is here with how I've revamped my wardrobe with these basics. Next up is a short sleeve tee. So for work, I tend to steer away from ones that are more of that classic length where the sleeve cuts off right here. I will go for something with a little bit of a longer sleeve. I just think that looks a little bit more work appropriate. So this is one that's actually more of like a elbow length tee, but I get this from Banana Republic. They have many colors. And then this one right here is from J. Crew. I love their perfect fit tee. And as you can see, this one has a little bit more of that longer sleeve. So this one cuts off like right here. And I had this in so many different colors. Over time, I did have to get rid of them because I wore them so much. But I would like to repurchase some. And this is a black one right here. And again, it cuts off right there. So anything that's more of like a work appropriate tee, that is what I tend to get. So once I have basics like this, this is where you start to incorporate those cardigans, jackets, and different things to make the outfits vary throughout the weeks. And now it's time for knitwear or sweaters and specifically ones that are really thin material. So this one I got from Banana Republic. I love getting my sweaters from there. And this one in particular might not be available anymore, but I will link some other options below. They always come out with new sweaters. And that's the thing with this wardrobe. It's so classic, it doesn't really go out of style. It's not trendy. Therefore, I'm not constantly buying new things. So a lot of things that I wear 
may not be available anymore, but it doesn't really look like it wouldn't be available anymore because it's not a trend that's here this season and out the next. And it of course depends on where you work. For me, I do work inside, so it gets pretty cold in the newsroom and I like to wear something like this to keep myself warm, but other people do work outside, so it really depends. But for me, this really works out because our workspace tends to get pretty cold. So this is another one where I can pretty much just put whatever bottoms on and throw this on, go out the door, and I don't have to think twice about it. And it goes with all my jewelry, all my handbags, and it's just a very classic thing for me to have. And this is a rib knit sweater. I have another one in black. I also have other sweaters in general, in camel, in beige, tan, all sorts of different neutral colors and I think it's always good to have in my wardrobe. And this one to me doesn't scream winter, which is another thing I like about sweaters, to be able to get ones that you can wear in other parts of the year and it doesn't seem like you're not wearing it in the right season. So the fifth and final top I would like to mention for a classic wardrobe is the cami and specifically one that's a little bit dressier and not just a typical cotton cami. I like these that have a v-neck and the material is a little bit on the shiny side so it looks more dressed up. I have another one here and this is another white or off-white. This one's actually, I think, white. So again, classic colors. I get these from Express and I've learned that I actually prefer the kind like this one. The back is exactly like this. It looks the same in the front and the back. I don't really like this. It's a lot harder to take on and off, I've learned. So although I like the look of this once I put it on, I've learned that this is a little bit more realistic. It's easier to take on and off. So I like to get a couple more of this design but I will link both of these below. I think Express does a really great job with workwear like this especially when it's very classic. Once you throw on the cami you can again pair it with a cardigan with a blazer so this is a boyfriend blazer also from Express so it just looks really put together when you have a nice cami like this and I think you can wear this on the weekends, you can wear it to work, and it just always looks good. So I recommend getting a few of these very classic camis. And you can also take a cami like this and wear it under a plaid casual button down shirt. Leave a couple of the buttons open and it's another way to wear your basics. And that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to start incorporating more of these topics into my channel, all about streamlining and making your mornings easier. So if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know hit the thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next upload. Have a good rest of your day. Bye!